Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Beer Comic Guy coming from Comic Collectors Guild. With me for our third episode, I got Mexican Reviews and Wings Pop Sash again. You should recognize these guys from last week. Um, this week, got some new topics, some new news from this uh, this past week. We got Target Con. We got some flipper drama and some new reveals that we got today. So awesome new stuff. We haven't had any fresh pop reveals, you know, in a little bit. So that's exciting. Uh, before we get started, I do want to make sure that you know that the Comic Collectors Guild is running a huge giveaway. We got three massive prizes. Um, go check them out. Follow the instructions. While you're here, like this video, subscribe, drop a comment below. Let us know your newest Funko Pop that you got. Um, but with that out of the way, I'm going to go give it to Mexican Reviews. He's going to give us some news from last week. What's up, guys? Mex Mexican Review here. I uh, had a some cool stuff happen last week. Um, Box Lunch uh, released their Earth Day Pop. If you're not familiar, Box Lunch every year they have, or the past two years, they had a Wally and an Eva for Earth Day. This year they had uh, Miko and Flit from uh, Pocahontas, the, uh, the raccoon. And it's in a different style box. We kind of talked about it uh, before, but that's that was theirs. Um, an afternoon with Evie and friends. It's kind of like a uh, Funko diorama thing. Uh, Winks, do you have any information on that? Or you're, you're into the the Pokemans? <laughs> um, no, those those uh, it's like Pikachu's Day Out kind of stuff. It's a different um design of the. I, I never got into them. Yeah. I just collect the Pokemon pops. Yep. 10 inches they, that kind of thing but the, the the pikachu's day out stuff and whatever secondary things that no yeah, not me <laughs> cool little different ideas but uh yeah and that's something uh kind of in our wheelhouse currently uh box lunch also has the diamond collection uh, morton salt girl coming out uh they had the morton salt girl come in and then the diamond collection is a series of pops that sparkle like uh, flame vampires. Uh, <laughs> FYE exclusive uh, Mandalorian Cara Dune uh, released online the other day. Uh, she's got like the heavy uh, gun that we see in the later episodes of uh, The Mandalorian. Uh, and yeah, I picked that one up. Did you guys get that one at all? Mm, I don't quick Star Wars, but I love looking at them, especially. Yeah. I fell down that rabbit hole a little bit. Then sold them. I'm not doing. <laughs> yeah. I'm not doing. <laughs> so with me with the Star Wars pops, I know that I'll never get all of them, and I don't want to get all of them. It's just like with just, everything else, I get what I like. Yeah. Yep. Um, General Mills plush. Go ahead. What? It's the only way to do it nowadays. It's oh, too yeah. many. Of yeah, it's too many, and plus all the old ones are you know vaulted and expensive. So I'm just not. I know we have a, a member. In the uh, in the guild, he's all about trying to find this uh, the glow in the dark Darth Vader from Dallas Con, and you know I would love that one too, but I just can't. <laughs> it's like six hundred dollars. Yeah. Uh, General Mills plush were announced. Uh, they had, I think they had the Tricks Bunny, um, Lucky Charms, and one other one I can't remember. But uh, they, yeah, they're bit Funko's big on ad icons, so now we're getting plushes. And then Hot Topic had a big release uh, on Friday, I believe it was Hot Topic exclusive Metallic Spider Man, uh, the 80th anniversary Spider Man, Harley Quinn Mad Love, she's got the nighty on, and the uh, Ghost Papa Nil released all online last week. Did you guys pick up any of those? I'll probably get the Spider-Man as much as I hate it because I got the common, so I'm pretty upset that they are doing what I hate. Yeah. Adding metallics and stuff, yeah. Um, no, that metallic Spider-Man I'll probably grab. Um, just haven't yet. Um, wait for stores to open back up and I'll see it in hand. That's really going to determine if I want it or not. Yeah, same here, that, that metallic. It's, like, it's cool, but uh, I have the common. I'm good with that one because I like how the common looks like it's a comic book, so... Yeah. 
I don't really need the metallic. Um, I went ham on the Papanillo. Uh, our first episode, we were talking about my favorites currently, and I said that my current favorite is uh, the Papa Emeritus. I've been excited about this Papanil. I got four of them. <laughs> <laughs> you get one to, one to rock, one to stock. Yeah. <laughs> the fiance needed one, and then I have just an extra to do with ever, whatever I want because I ran into that problem with the Papa Emeritus. It was the same thing. I had one to rock, one to stock. One for the fiance, and I'm like, I need one more to do this specific thing with, and uh, I end up having to get a fourth one of those. So I was like, I'll just get four. <laughs> uh, and then finally for the week, uh, last week that is, um, several Funko Star Wars products were released at Target, kind of like a mini Target Con on Sunday. Um, I was all about that. I was there. <laughs> I I debated on going or just trying to get them online, but I figured, you know, I'll just save the hassle and go to the store. Um, did you guys get any any of them? Not one. Yep. Nope. Uh, they did have a uh, Waterboy pop that came out also. Also a couple Billy Madison pops. And then a bunch of uh, shirts, Star Wars shirts and... Um, lunch boxes and pins and all kinds of stuff and i'll show you one of them here this is the uh jawa that came out that was pretty cool where is he at here he is he's got the camo and everything and this is a a pop that was you know kind of redesigned by a graffiti artist called futura he's uh, partnered with funko before on a few other ones, they had Darth Vader and um, Boba Fett, C-3PO, R2-D2. They have this Jawa, and then they also have this um, Stormtrooper here. And the Stormtrooper and the Darth Vader are very similar. They have these uh, circles and the dots. Isn't there have... an R2-D2 that's the same design? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I, didn't, I didn't like the designs on the on the droids too much. Uh, so I didn't pick them up, so I don't really know what they look like. Yeah, there's a uh, R2-D2 that has that ex- same same exact scribble design. I don't okay. know. To me, it looks like a toddler got a hold of a Sharpie <laughs> and went nuts. You know, yeah. so it's not not into it. And then there's this <laughs> uh, this 10-inch Boba Fett that they put out also. It's got a massive head. But uh, we've gotten this sculpt before with some chrome pops that came out last year for celebra- Celebration. And then they did this 10 inch and they've used that uh, sculpt for a couple other like colorway type um, 10 inch Boba Fett's. So it's black and red and red and black. Um, they still haven't released a common version of this sculpt, which I'm ready for. So actually, um, after seeing your Instagram for that uh, Jawa, that's probably my favorite design that Futura has done. Yeah. You can actually, that... see, the net- you can actually see the netting detail yeah, on right. it. It's- pretty dope i like it yeah it was cool that was uh the, and the camo was as a genius idea i don't know why it just looks fantastic on the jawa so yeah um uh, my i'm biased i i like the darth vader that's my shit my stuff so <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, uh one, one thing that pulled me back from target con was my car don't start right now so my wife's got the <laughs> only other one i have no way of leaving this house during the day so it ain't happening yeah <laughs> I actually uh, made my fiance go with me. I didn't make her. I just asked her, and she's like, "Yeah, let's go." I was like, "All right, cool." So, <laughs> reason to get uh, out of the house now, right? Yeah, she stayed in the car and played her Animal Crossing. <laughs> um, yeah, I think this was the first Target Con that I really didn't, you know, participate in. And uh, I mean, it's just because it's so Star Wars heavy, and that's you the know, same for me. Yeah, and I'm the type of collector where i'm not gonna get something just to get it uh, you know i'd rather someone that's a fan get that pop so yeah. that's kind of why i stayed away but i mean to kind of add on to target con this isn't the first one for anyone that's not familiar with funko you know these happen i would say every three months we're yeah. kind of in that you know where they'll kind of build up to... at least Go ahead. It's twice a year I said at the least it's twice a year. 
Yeah, they'll, they'll just build up releases and release, you know, I, I mean, this is probably the smallest one that they did, but it's usually 10, 10 pops or so and all types of stuff. And it's the 10 inches usually in there. And this was the Boba Fett, you know, we've gone with the Pikachu or all the uh, 10 inch uh, Pokemon have been target uh, exclusives. Um, then the con or the initial Pikachu was target. Um, and then Thanos and all uh, Groot, Hulk, you know, all those have all been piled on these target cons. So you definitely want to watch those because they are going to be, you know, big releases and you're going to get those uh, valuable pops that come out of those. You know, it not, might not be all of them, but they'll have, you know, really desirable pops in those releases. Uh, yeah, right. definitely. And some of these are kind of limited, which brings out some unsavory characters which i experienced at mine um we as a collecting community with any kind of collection you're gonna have flippers mm -hmm. uh i unfortunately experienced them in the flesh usually you get them online but i got i got to see it firsthand uh it's not my first time but it was just the one that got me the most upset because like you know, it's it's you know it's a free country. They can do what they want. It's fine, but at the same time, it still <laughs> drives me nuts. Um, I'm standing there in line, and these guys roll up. They're first, okay, whatever, and then they're just openly talking about buying and selling, and how many they're trying to get, and making plans with each other to try and like, okay, you're not getting this one. Can you grab that for me so I can have that to sell? And then, um. The doors open, and the guy says, hey, we completely forgot that this was going on today. You're going to have to give us a minute so we can pull everything out from the back and uh, get it all ready for you guys. I'm like, Okay, you know, I'm cool. I'm like, okay, whatever. You, you guys do your thing. You didn't have to do this, especially with how things are going right now. I appreciate what you're doing. So this particular store hasn't restocked in months. So they're pulling out everything that they haven't put out. And it's stuff that's from two, three months ago. And then they finally start bringing out the stuff that's coming out that day. And the guys are continuing to talk about, oh, I bought, you know, 1,200 in pops, but I've sold 1,500 in pops. I'm like, how do you do that? How do you even do that? <laughs> yeah. You know, like, what, like 10 bucks maybe from, like, it's crazy. And then he's talking about how he's a nurse and everything. And then again, I'm like shocked. I'm like, you're a nurse. You have you're well off. You got a career, and you're still doing this douchebaggy thing. Yeah. Uh, so like I said, they're taking forever to bring stuff out from the back, and they're being pushy. Like, do you have this one? Uh, well, we're waiting on you guys. So you know, whenever you guys are ready, and like, it's just blow it blow my mind how big of a douchebag they were being. Mm. So, and then I had somebody trying to get around me that was behind me trying to get around the whole group which i've had to deal with before but yeah i i still can't believe you know and i i collect everything you know action figures comics statues you know all type of stuff so it's i've been involved with a lot of these going to stores as they're bringing out crates and stuff like that so it's definitely not just with funko and it's I hate the conversation that follows, you know, this type of complaint of, you know, those are the guys that drive value into collecting. And if it wasn't for people like that, you know, our stuff wouldn't be as valuable as it is. And, you know, all that, which is complete nonsense. You know, it's it. I can't believe that, we, you know, we have grown men you know, camping out at stores to go and get five or six of these. And there's, I mean, most of these stores are only getting a case of something, you know, if it's one pop and they get a case, it's six pops, you know, and they have five people with them buy the whole case and then go and sell it in the parking lot for, you know, six times what it should be, you know, yeah. because they, that person didn't get there you know, at five o'clock in the morning when Target opens at eight, you know, and, it. Yeah. And these two, they, the one guy didn't even care. Like he's solely there just to buy and sell. Right. And like he rolls up and he's showing his friend everything and he pulls his hot topic bag out of the car and just drops it on the ground. 
I'm like, dude, like, you don't even care about this. This isn't even for you. And you're just out here making a buck off of us. Yeah. You know, and it sucks because it just drives people away. You know, it drives people out. You know, I mean, I'm on all all the Facebook groups, you know, through uh, Facebook uh, with all the Funko groups. And uh, you just see people like, all right, I'm sick of it. Like, sell my collection, you know, just getting out. And it sucks to see people so turned off by it's stuff like this that happens, you know, that they you have 10 releases, you know, in a month or two months and they don't get any of them because of people like that. And it's usually the same people in a town, you know, like I live in Vegas. So it's I I live far enough away from everything that I see the same people go to these stores, you know, and I see these guys, the same people post on Facebook that I just saw walk out of there. You know, and their friend got just like you said, their friend got an extra set and they don't go on Facebook and put it, you know, thirty dollars to start with. And, you know, it's just like, are you kidding me? Like, luckily, you know, for here in Vegas, we have a uh, we have three really good Facebook groups where, you know, buy, sell, trade type of thing. And the mods like there's a rule that you can't sell, you know, a uh, new pop that was released like at a target con or hot topic you can't sell it over retail for like two weeks or some something like that you know which is nice because they and they enforce it you know people get banned all the time i mean obviously these guys don't really care they'll go to macari or offer up or something like that you know won't stop them but it's there's no room for that in collecting it's nonsense you know and it sucks that you had to deal with that it, you know, it is what it is. You know, it's something like it comes with the territory of collecting, but it's just super unfortunate that these things are something that we have to deal with because, like you're saying, it definitely does take the fun out of it a little bit. Like the fact that I have to get there earlier than the flippers to make sure I even get something that is for me. I'm not even trying to sell any of this, it's for my collection, and I have to get there earlier than them to be able to get it. So. Yeah, I mean, it, the same goes with the online releases of these guys with the bots and stuff, you know, I mean, how many con releases can have we missed because it sells out in 30 seconds because of some bots or the old Funko exclusives that we get on those Wednesday mornings. I mean, yeah. they would be sold out in a minute, a minute. I mean, look at I, I mean, the one that I remember the most is Stonekeeper and Stonekeeper is out in like. 45 seconds you know it's like are you serious um but yeah it definitely sucks and luckily i've kind of taken a backseat with funko but it it hurts more going for like that one release you know um like i'm battling right now if i want that funimation um 10 inch shenron because it's gonna be a cool pop yeah, it's gonna be I've, super cool. I don't collect Dragon Ball at all, and I'm thinking about getting it because that's Neither how cool. Neither do I. I I'm, I'm <laughs> feeling the same way. I'm feeling yeah. the same. I don't collect DBZ at all, but that one looks pretty cool. Yeah, like, like that's that's such a sweet freaking. I mean, it it was bound to happen. You know, I we were talking about earlier um, because uh, Funko flooded us with ten inch. You know, and right. The, I forget who I was talking to, but um, oh yeah, there it is. So metallic, Shenron ten inch, super cool. Uh, yeah. But like I remember going and getting the life size group from Target, you know, and that was like, other than the con releases, because I think we had a ten inch Batman, a ten inch Daryl, a ten inch Buzz. And then oh, yeah. solely, but they were all like con exclusives. Yeah. Yeah. Very you know, hard to find. Yeah. yeah. And now they're, that, you know, super yeah. expensive. That that Groot was the first like common right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I remember that release, and then we had the Gladiator Hulk. Um, and that, that kind of started <laughs> yeah, that started the the craziness, you know, because yeah. Then we started getting all the Thanos, and then they were just blowing everybody up, um, you know. So, and but now you look at ten inches, and they they have done so many, in, like insane amount of ten inch. You know, I mean, last 
Black Friday, what what do we get? Like on the other side of my dining room table, you could see a majority of them. <laughs> yeah, I mean they released five different Deadpool's, ten inch yeah. Deadpool's. Yep, more yeah. color, different I, color variants. I only grabbed two of them. They had a red one, blue and yellow, a gray suit, and a gold one. Didn't they yeah. have two red ones? Yeah, they had the thumbs up. And then they yeah. had the two swords. Just two swords, yeah. yeah. The, sword, the swords are the one I got. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's... I grabbed the uh, X Force gray mm. one with the two swords and the gold one. Nice. That was it. I mean, but that that just shows you how crazy, you know, and uh, we'll get to the second part of this, uh, you know, but it's. I, I guess where I was going with it is when you do find a drop. You know, for someone like me who I've kind of taken a backseat, I, I get strictly my Hulks, some Spider-Mans, I'll get anything Batman, you know, but if something comes out and I want it, you know, it is definitely more sour if I don't get it, you know, where I I don't go and take anyone else's stuff that they would want, you know, it's just like... Is that's what frustrates me. It, it it has put a sour taste in my mouth with, with Funko and and I mean we went over last week with just the release after release after release. Yeah, we we need to find a happy medium with the releases. Like we you know getting getting so much is not fun, but then not getting anything is not fun either. <laughs> yeah, but and it for me it um going from getting anything marvel anything dc um you know i was like that it was about a week or a year year and a half ago where i mean anything mcu comic x-men deadpool i would get it it didn't matter um and then i stopped doing that i kind of zoned in on what i wanted to collect and i still follow everything of course but it's uh it's a lot more different getting a pop like that versus getting everything um but now not getting anything at all freaking sucks yeah you know i'm drooling over you know an abomination wave that's headed to me and it's the worst wave i've ever seen but it's a new figure so i'm super excited right (laughs) yeah man it's it is what it is. I don't know. From the standpoint of where I'm at, going into stores, I don't really run into flippers too much. I mean, there's there's those of us, I know who the collectors are. I know who the flippers are. And anytime I'm going early to stand in line for a release, the same three people show up. It's the collectors. And we tend to... Basically, we know who the flippers are, so we help each other out to get the releases that we want, and we screw over the flippers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, that's awesome. So yeah, that's I mean, just good. the way it works around here. But I mean, I've had bad experiences, though. Don't get me wrong. Um, was it a couple years ago when they released ECC uh, exclusives? There's that three pack uh, Harry Potter of the oh. brothers and yeah. uh, the, the sister dress. Yeah, dressed uh, for the for the tournament, the Quidditch tournament, right. all yeah. green and everything. Yeah, they released that one at Barnes and Noble, and at the time, me and my wife had uh, taken a anniversary trip to Myrtle Beach, and um, so while we were down there, they released these things. So we decided to go on a pop hunt, and uh, we went into Barnes and Noble, and at the time, she was collecting Harry Potter like crazy. So I picked up; they had like five of them on the uh, on the pedestal in the middle of the store. And I picked up one, I'm looking at it, and I show it to her, and she's just like, I don't really like the design. So then I'm like, okay, she's out. So I'm, I set it down, and before I could pick it up to see if I wanted to get it, because I'm taking a second look, this dude comes in, grabs everything that's on the table, and then kind of shoulder checks me to take the one out of my hand. I just said to pop, I just, I just said to stop. I looked at him and said, have you lost your damn mind? And he's just like... <laughs> I, I need all these. And I'm like, I don't care. That'll get you killed. <laughs> and he just, he just he sets it down to see if I wanted it. And I'm like, no, go ahead, man. It's all you. Just 
walk away now before I kill you. <laughs> and uh, and he did. He went right to the register, bought all five they had, and they let it go. So right after that's when they started doing a, you know, one per person kind of thing. But prior to that, it was fair game. So it's like, whatever. But luckily, it wasn't one I wanted. Because if it was one I actually wanted and I had it in my hand, he wasn't getting it. <laughs> he yeah. would have got a black eye. That's what he would have got. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't have got that pop. <laughs> mm. yeah you know, no like, that's, the people, one, like, that's the one thing that sticks out to me is, is people yeah. take it too far you Over, gotta realize you know, how much why. of a douche you're being you know yeah it's not it, the, the toy is not worth it exactly yeah <sighs> definitely uh madness when, when it comes to some of this stuff and i mean people get emotional too you know and it's uh, for me i get emotionally attached to some of these things you know it's something that you know you've wanted you know they tease the release and you've gotten excited about and to have it right there you know and it's almost the same as when you're seventh in line and they have six pops and the six people in front of you got it and you just disheartened you know and yeah. i will i will pay you 35 for that pop you know and if that person says no it's just like i mean at least they wanted that pop and you know if that person turned around i was like okay yeah here you go they didn't want it they were just there to do exactly that yep you know and it is what it is they'll always be there you just gotta... it, with everything <laughs> that's what's annoying too yeah i mean and it sucks because it's um the part of the, I mean, like you said, part of uh, what we do, you know, it's if you miss something, you're willing to pay that amount on eBay or Macari or Facebook, you know, so it just fuels them that much more. <laughs> so we were talking about uh, Tiny Ghost last last week. And like literally while we were talking, like while Wings was showing his off, I was on Mercari looking for uh, <laughs> that that nerdy tiny ghost. Yeah, uh, geek cult. Yeah, yeah. I ended up finding it uh, on eBay, and I paid uh, paid a little bit of a premium for it. But I mean, it's coming, and I'm excited about it. So, uh, I need to find it now. Me, honestly, you got a good deal on it. It goes uh, yeah. for way more than what you paid for it, so you're good, man. I'm Most excited. of that was shipping from uh, Singapore, so yeah, you it's know, still that's, wrapped. That's, that's a good chunk. Yep, yep, yep. So, like I said, good deal, man. You're good. Yeah. Well, I I did want to pull this up because I know I know Winx is definitely. Got to be jumping on this. Oh man, yeah. Hold on, I saw it. hold on. I, I already know what you're putting up, man. I, <laughs> I, I am. I'm actually upset because uh, Connor, at the very last minute today, posted in the Facebook group for that one, saying he set aside a certain small number for the Abominable Toys Facebook group members mm. to make sure they went to collectors. My notifications didn't go off. I missed it completely. So I mm. got to try with the rest of the people tomorrow. And for only an LE of 250, that's going to go like that. Dude, it's gonna it, dip that cool one. It's me off if I don't get it. That one is cool. And yeah. when I saw it, I was like, okay, this might be the one. But then I saw that it was 250. Thing, I'm like, this yeah, would like, not be the one. The thing on that one, though, is it would have been so much cooler if that mosquito was inside. Yeah. Yeah, and way. Not, oh, yeah. It's painted. It's painted lightly on the front. It's right. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah. I mean, it, it's like okay, skeleton well. stickers on the uh, on the skeleton ones. You know what I mean? Gotcha. They're they're very very easily seen as stickers in that, and it's just pasted on the front. But okay. yeah, well, I'm good with it. not getting it now. <laughs> they showed, yeah. they showed, no, no. Even then, dude. Even then, that they showed uh, images like of a light source behind it and all that stuff. It's it's a straight up amber resin all the way through. It's it's a awesome design for that. Yeah, it's, it's definitely cool and uh, like just that Jurassic Park, like that's just so cool. Like that's that's it. Like, but I uh, I don't know if I can do it because I mean with a two fifty, 
That's crazy. You know, good luck to anybody that's yeah. that's getting that. Oh, they are they already messed up because when I first posted that on Facebook and Instagram, they said it was thirty five dollars plus shipping. Mm -hmm. uh, they immediately removed that and posted it back up as at forty dollars plus shipping. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I caught him on that one. I was like, Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would have but you know. That's funny. But, uh, um, yeah. I got to try for it. I got everything else except for that gold one. So I might as well keep going. <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely. Um, so kind of moving moving the train along, we got some new things to look forward to. Um, so I'm not going to go line by line, but we got some breast cancer awareness, DC Pops. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, Looks like we got a couple new um, Haunted which, Mansion. Which characters we got in the Breast Cancer one? Oh, uh, Batman, Harley Quinn, Superman, Wonder Woman. Sweet. I'm a, I'm assuming they're just gonna be all pink. Oh uh, yeah, I, I probably just as the uh, Pride Pops. Like yeah, it, it's just that tone. But I mean that's cool. You know, I yeah. Funko is good with doing stuff like that. I'll probably get um, the Batman. I, I'll for sure get the Batman. <laughs> both with the Pride and this. Just because it's Batman. Really good. Um, we looks like we got yeah some new haunted mansion stuff. Um, I'm not into that, but I know a lot of people are super involved with that. Um, Disney 65th anniversary. You got Donald, Mickey. Uh, yeah, a bunch of them. Is um, that for? I'm guessing that's. For the parks, because it looks like yeah. Donald, Donald on the Lederhosen, Mike, mm -hmm. uh, Mickey on the Lederhosen, and then Mickey on the Matterhorn, Donald right. on the Matterhorn, and then the castle is a pop town. So I'm guessing that's the uh, yeah. Cinderella castle. Yeah, it sounds about right. Um, we got <laughs> Pixar Alien remix. Is that a new movie coming out or show? No, or it's the. I don't know if you've seen them at Target, but they have this thing where they're doing uh, character. They're doing the alien, the Toy Story alien, dressed mm -hmm. up as these characters. Mm. So this oh, is uh, cool. Funko's answer to that. That's sweet. There's a bunch of those and yeah. keychains. Yeah, Ten and Sully. Wait, what? There's a tennis oh, yeah. Sully. <laughs> yeah, there's a tennis yeah. Sully. I didn't see that. Um, should have a uh, 18 inch dancing Groot. Yeah. Uh, as well. And that's uh, that's literally the only Marvel pop on this list. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, we got um, uh, some new scenarios. Some new NFL guys, new Simpsons line. Um, that one, eighteen inches. Wow. <laughs> no, jeez. I see, like for that, I, I'm not upset because it's going to go literally right behind me in that corner with the Star Lord helmet. Yeah. yeah so, like, so sh you you could probably put the Star Lord helmet on that thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, and Wings, this is where we were talking about 10 inches before, because, I mean, if anyone is new to Funko or doesn't know, we, the only 18 inch we got is, um, a Batman or two Batman. Batmans. There's two versions. Yeah. There's the, yeah. uh, Batman 66 blue. Um, yeah. that one is surprised me. That was a Funko shop exclusive, but price wise, that has just skyrocketed. Is um, it, has it, it, it was, uh, it was a limited the, number. Yeah, yeah, it was like 500, right? 200. Yeah. Other than that, there's the 1989 uh, Batman. That's yeah. That, that one I have. I have that one as well, and it's super nice. Um, yeah. All, well, all three of us probably have that one. So. Yeah. Um, I'm looking up this. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, so the 18-inch now. So it was 100 retail, and it's... On eBay for three seventy five, free, sh free shipping. Last time, I, last time I looked at it and saw it on eBay, it was around two twenty five for yeah. that uh, blue one. 
this guy. You know, as much as I'd probably get it <laughs> off of eBay. It's, I mean, so for me, for me, it's it's too big. It's. I mean, if you go to my Instagram, I have it next to a statue. No more room for a ten inch pop. Yeah. Just, inch pop. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it it is big. I would love it, but I would hate making room for it. Yeah. Um, and as a, I, for me with the Groot, I, I want to hold off. I feel like I will regret holding off, but I would rather just wait for an 18 inch Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> uh so harry potter is one of our lines and i know they got one of those coming out so i'm probably gonna have to do that one i think they have harry and dumbledore which sucks as 18 inch inch? no 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 just a harry they did the dumbledore that was 10 inch oh my gosh see we're gonna get freaking drowned in 18 inch pops the the cool thing though with the harry one i think it's the one with him with hedwig on his arm um, instead of just the regular, like old school number one. Mm. So I mean, um, I guess that just I we will talk about it because we'll have time. Um, but let's go back on this list real quick. So we got okay. some new soda guys. So we got a DC Joker with Chase, super cool, and a Ninja Turtle Shredder with Chase. Yeah. So um, I still haven't got any of those. I know you've. Uh, Megan, you've gotten some. Yeah. What do you? What are your thoughts on these? You know, when they first announced them, I was super standoffish <laughs> on them. I didn't like them. The design looked weird. I didn't understand why they were in the soda can. <laughs> but uh, I was like, I'd probably get the Batman because when Funko comes out with a new uh, product, they usually do Batman as number one. Yeah, and that's what they did here. Right. So I ended up picking it up, and I picked up two because every one of them comes with a chase, and I got the regular and I got a chase. So they're pretty cool. After getting them in hand, they're pretty uh, weighty, uh, pretty solid, and uh, the design is on a, the design is cool. Packaging is cool. So yeah. see, I saw them released online, and that I could have jumped on them, but I don't. Like you said, I don't really like the design. I'd have to see it in my hand yeah. first. That was, that was the thing. Yeah, like to... once you get it in hand, it's so much better than just seeing it like That's this. Or I was like, more than likely, I would, but I have not come across a store around here that carries them at all. Yeah. So I've I haven't seen any in hand. I haven't gotten any yet. Yeah, I mean they're they're definitely odd, but I mean it's cool. It's it's something different and. Uh... I mean, for me, if I would do it, it would just be a select few. Like, getting the Batman and the Batman chase, like, that's sweet. You kind of knock it out. And now the Joker, that's cool. Yeah. You know, there's some other ones in there, too, that look, that I was interested in with the uh, the list there. Yeah, you know. I mean, they got Chucky, they got Kiss, and they got Samurai Jack. Yeah, yeah, I'd probably get all of those. <laughs> yeah, the kiss ones of it, that that would be cool because they're uh, the chase is also glow in the dark. That's what's up. So that's that's pretty sweet. Um, I am a sucker for glow in the dark. Yeah, yeah, too. we we know you are. But it is. <laughs> um, my wedding band is glow in the dark. So <laughs> <laughs> mine too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, I think that's it for the list. Yeah. That... I don't know what... That something wild is. I'm guessing that's one of the games or something that they got coming out. Yeah, I don't know. Um, and the other thing that I saw was real today was the McDonald's line with the hand vote. Yeah. So I don't know. Like these. <laughs> that was uh, have, have Sergeant been, Mac. Yeah, Officer Mac. Officer they, Mac. Yeah. They have been teasing this line for years. Ever. Yes. Um, and. All of a sudden today, they're talking about them, and I, you know, we got a picture here, and it's, you know, it could be proof, but at the same time, like I, I will believe it when I see them in stores. Yeah, it 
honestly, that one kind of looks like, I mean, it's it's a step up from the customs I've seen done. Yeah. But it looks a lot like a custom one that I've seen before. So. Well, I I'm, saw I saw I Ronald today too. It. Yeah, I've seen the Ronald one too. This it looks the same to me. It just looks, I don't know. It just they look off. Yeah, it's on uh, the back of the box on the Ronald one. Yeah, there is a the back of the on the Ronald one. Who would have posted it? I got it. Hold on. There it is. Yeah. So I mean, definitely weird, and that the, it's more weird that it's not on this release today that got leaked out. Yeah. Whatever, whoever put it out, or um, but it's not on this list, which is weird because it is um, something that people have been looking for, and Funko is definitely not afraid of throwing at icons all over the place. I've been hearing stuff about that line since 2013. No, yeah. no. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of over it. You know, it's either going to happen or it's not. Yeah. Um, well, so one thing I did want to kind of just discuss about is I've been thinking about it lately. What are some of the one, some, what are the pops that you guys still want? And two, where do you want pops to go with? Like, and I'm going to say this with interchangeable pieces. We've had a couple of them, like. Um, the Thanos, you could add the arm back on. Uh, we had a Koya where she had the wig. Um, there's been uh, a very other or various other pops that have had it. Do you guys like that? Do you guys want that? Um, and I thought about it with your 18 inch Harry. Would that purchase be so much better if you had a changeable arm that had headwig on it and then it had like a wand or something like that? Yeah. Um, the interchangeable pieces would be awesome. That would, you know, they they don't have interchangeable pieces per se, like you were talking about with the other ones, but uh, they do have special features, which I love when they do that. And to get that more would be incredible. Yeah. Yeah, I... Go ahead, From a licensing standpoint, Marvel, it could never happen. Because having interchangeable pieces would make it a action figure, and yeah. their licensing specifically basically forbids them from making yeah. action figures. That's why all the Marvel have bobbleheads and are considered bobbleheads. Right. So they don't want to cross that line because Marvel has a substantial action figure assortment already. So it'll never happen for them. But some other video right. game yeah. and things like that, it may. It could. It'd like, be awesome if it was, but like, there's this incredible Prime One Studio that just, or a Prime One Studio statue that just came out for the Doom Slayer, and he has interchangeable hands and weapons for like every weapon in the game, almost. Mm-hmm. And that would be awesome. Like, if they were to put out a Doom Slayer pop where you can, they had like different weapons in the box and stuff, and you can change it out. That would be that'd be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, for me, I take everything out of the box, um, you know, and the part about Pops that I don't like is because they're all pretty much a statue. It's, it's you can't do anything with. It's, it is how it is. If it can't stand up, you know, you got to make it stand up with, you know, uh, the uh, putty or whatever tack. Um, you know, and that's a part of Pops that I don't like, you know, and that's why I do like action figures. You know, I can pose them, I can put them on flight stands, I can swap out guns, I can customize them, you know, stuff like that. Um, which that's the price difference between the two. That's, you know, it comes with the, you know, the terrain of Funko versus all the other stuff. You know, but I wish we did get into it. And and for me, I want more comic moments. I, yeah. I, 
I love those pops. You know, when they did the 10 year Marvel MCU ones, I loved those. You know, I thought they they got some good stuff. I wish they did a lot more of them. You know, I would do a whole wall of just those stacked up. You know, the Deadpool cable and then the um, 80 year Batman ones. I thought they were yeah. all super good. You know, and I know you've done a lot, Winks, with the Naruto ones, right? The Naruto ones? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they've uh, released have, quite a few. I have every single pop that they've made for Naruto. I have one of them. Yeah. They're and, all over the house now. Yeah, And they've <laughs> done quite a few of the anime scenes for um, that, right? They've done one anime oh. scene. Um, it was one where uh, Naruto's fighting Sasuke at, at the uh, River of Tears or whatever it was. Um, but it's got Sasuke's like on a wall, so they built up a wall to it, and it's got water going down, and Naruto's like on the water about to strike him. It's mm. a pretty cool piece. I guess say that's the only actual movie moment, anime moment that they have that that I picked up. They did a um, cowboy beep up one too. Or that's, is that that's the one. Yeah, that's another one. Yeah. yeah, I mean they they've done quite a few anime ones, which I'm surprised about is they haven't done any Dragon Ball ones that I can recall. I was looking for it this morning um i didn't find any dragon ball ones for moments yeah um i don't even think they've done any uh deluxe pops for dragon ball it's just been yeah. tenants and uh six inch and the regular ones they did 10 inch dragon ball Mm-mm. the shenron's the first one shenron oh yeah, yeah right the first okay one. yeah yeah otherwise they've got that they've got that same uh, Shenron for six inches. Yeah, like the gold, a, the green, yeah. and the the regular. Regular, yeah. Yeah, there's like a green metallic, a regular one, and then a gold one. Yeah. Which I I don't collect Dragon Ball. Um, I would love my hero, you know, anime moments. That would be cool. I'd definitely look at those. Um, and then I mean, you hit on it with the deluxe pops. You know, DC. We got those awesome Jim Lee ones. I would yeah. love more of those. And they hit. Well, you it know, was the the Marvel Avengers yeah. one that they're going to do. Yeah. You know, like with that and then um, they, with the Infinity War, I like the Iron Man one that lit up. You know, that was kind of the first one that we've seen. I, yeah. I want to say it was the first light up one that had the light up yeah. feature. Um, yeah. You know, and then that Thanos deluxe one with him sitting on the skulls. Yeah, that yeah. was cool. Yeah, stuff like that, like, going that, that, I don't mind paying the extra money for a deluxe pop, you know, if it's gonna, if it's gonna stand up, like, those Jim Lee ones, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I mean, that was, that was a really cool pop when it it came out, and it, I mean, now we've gotten more with, uh, Star Wars? Yeah, Kylo and Darth Vader. Oh yeah, the uh, the sound effects and the yeah. light up and those are cool. Yeah, you know, those extra features that like to me, it's just it's it shows that they do care about what people say and you know do want you know the fact that you have a pop now that a lightsaber lights up. That's freaking cool. Yeah, you know if they ever did a, a Darth Maul one. I, that would be the only <laughs> pop from Star Wars I'd get. Yeah, that's see, and it's to me with that pop is you know it has a good pose. It's not just standing on the ground. They put them on rocks. Like that's a cool, a, a better pop than you know yeah. just an Iron to, Man. Had to have something for the battery to go into. You know? Yeah, the, uh, the Batman Begins moment, movie moment. Too, with Jim Gordon and then the bat signal, so good. That's so amazing. Yeah, that, that that one was, was great. Yeah, I think I got it. Awesome. Okay, cool. That was yeah. fun. You know, I uh, I should have picked up, but didn't. Yeah, like, and I loved all those. You know, that I think they picked some really good moments for that to uh, to do because we got we got three. We got a uh, protector. Did you cut a hole in it? Oh yes, I did. Nice. <laughs> oh, and it's in a protector. 
Yeah, like this one is so good. Like, and that light is bright. It yeah. is a bright light. Yeah, that's that. So far, that's been my favorite for the the light ups. Then Darth Vader's close second, but these little features are definitely where I'd like to see them go. You know, they've been taking leaps and bounds just with these light ups, and then you know the extra little pieces that come off and stuff like that. Like, keep that up. That's the stuff I want to see. Yeah, and the Iron Man that we're waiting for now. That lights up as well. The um, I love you three thousand one. Yes. No, that yeah. glows. No, 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 it no glows. That glows. Right, glows. right. Yeah. But this Mysterio. Yeah, that's yeah. This one. Yeah. Very Dope. cool one. Yeah. I I forgot that that one came out. That's <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was in the box. That was in yeah. the uh, Marvel box. Yeah, and it's sitting right up there too, right behind me. No, I definitely want to see more of it. You know, I sat here and I looked at the Jim Lee ones. Because um, there was a time where I did have them all out. And they are so freaking cool. Yeah, They're they such are. good bonds. I still haven't picked any up. I don't uh, know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why either. But, I mean, they are just like that. Oh. <laughs> hey, that's a good, oh, that's a good ceiling fan you got there. <laughs> it, you like that? That Batman, us. the Batman Green Lantern one is yeah. so good. It's so good. But I was curious of what you guys thought. I mean, it's uh, it's a double-edged sword because you're asking for Funko to open the floodgates, and when they do, it's hell. But I would rather pay, you know, $50 for a good pop than try to get satisfied by you know a wave of 10 commons and a couple exclusives yeah you know it i mean that's just me my the my hero collection on collection i i'm just collecting the metallic ones that are coming out that are random that because i like my hero i i mean winx actually got me the silver age one from barnes nobles i love the silver age uh all might it's i love the suit I haven't picked up any any my hero ones yet, but having that one in my hand made me second guess it. I almost went back and got another one for myself. But... <laughs> yeah, like, so, and I do all the uh, band press. So. Like, if I get one, I'm gonna want to get more, and there's a lot of them that they're pounding out. So it's just another it's another yeah. genre I, I don't need to start collecting. So just yeah. Yeah, it, it is a mess. I, I've I've done every band presto for my hero and I've gotten all the McFarlands for my hero and that's where I'm limiting limiting it to. Um I've got a band prestos for uh Naruto. Yeah. And and I, come out with, that's it. That's all I'm doing. Yeah. And my hero, I'm I'm not saying I'm going all in. I'm investing more in that i have a detail behind me of of dragon ball um band prestos s and a lot of sh figures um and the sh figures are the i'm only doing them for dragon ball and they're super cool i definitely don't regret buying any of those um but i won't do like the figmas for uh my hero or anything i and you know, I don't know if you guys are into any of the action figures types, so maybe we'll talk about that on another show. Um, but I, I would love to do my hero, but it's just too much. You know, there's a common that's like three hundred dollars. That's freaking out of this world. No, thank you. Not for a pop that came out two, three years ago. Right, right. But yeah, I was. I was curious. I've been pondering this all day. <laughs> and like I said, it's weird that I want more to come out. If you would have asked me this like six months ago, I would have told you you're crazy. But well, you could it, supplementing it would be nice. Like you were saying, like instead of getting five and a couple 
commons, just get one awesome one. But the thing is, is that they're going to do the one awesome one while doing the five commons and the couple exclusives. Yeah. I mean, like for me, I think if they told me tomorrow that there's going to be an 18 inch Galactus with the Silver Surfer for $200, I'd buy it. That would be probably the coolest pop that they could have came in, came out with in like the last three years. Yeah. They like, should have done that already anyway. <laughs> I mean, they're freaking ridiculous. <laughs> There's so much that they should have done already, but it's not even still there. So you got, we got a common that's the same size as everybody else, and you're just like, what are you but, doing? But then you get a 10-inch thing. Yeah. Yeah. The, like, are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? A 10-inch yeah. thing, and we don't get a 10-inch Galactus at minimum. Yeah, right. Galactus should have been the first 18-inch one they did. To be honest, I mean, come on. That uh, goes back uh, to the thing that I said. Every <laughs> single new product that they drop, it has to be Batman. Yeah, yeah, I'll give them that it should have been the second. If if they did not do Dancing Groot, but they did it because there's so many freaking Groot fanatics that it drove me out of ever liking Groot. <laughs> it's so crazy. Uh, but, um, yeah, I think that that should be... I can't talk, though, because I do have... A lot of groups. <laughs> I mean, I got, I have, I'm the same way, but when yeah. I keep Guardians, hearing, right. <laughs> I keep hearing about a Marvel character that's cute, I, it just turns me away from it. I, I mean, Rocket, yeah. but you're talking about Groot, no? I like him in the context of the movie, but outside of that, I can, like, whatever. Yeah. yeah. I don't yeah, know. Well, I got the 10 inch. I got the ten inch venomized. I, I even saw a, I need to. Oh, that one's yeah. cool. That one's cool. It, that's um, the coolest one out of that line. We talked about that last week. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, I'll grab it just so you can. Uh, people who don't know can see. Yeah, that's that's the only one because I got the the common one, and yeah. you know I talked a lot of crap about that line last week, but that is one I do want. And it's the common 10 inch too. Yeah. Speaking of other common 10 inches, the Dark Knight Joker. I'm still waiting for mine. Yeah. Yeah, that's a cool one. That's a freaking cool one. It bobbles. Yeah. Oh, it bobbles. Do we get bobble? Yeah. Kind of. Uh, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. No, I'm, yeah. Got the tendrils with the flowers coming off the back. Yeah, that's definitely a good one. Yeah, this is this was just a cool one. I had to get this one. But yeah, I'm about uh, to pick it even up. Even got to be when I was at uh, Indiana Comic Con last year. I ended up uh, seeing a uh, company that was making 3D printable, you know, statues, and there was one of Groot sitting down. That it was just it was really well done. So I had to have that. Um, uh, I was standing, the, standing in line for an autograph. My wife actually just, she's like, do you want that? And I'm like, yeah, I do, but I'm in line, so I'm not going anywhere. So she went and got it for me. <laughs> What's cool about those is that, like, there's a, so 3D printers run off of plastic, right? And some of the plastic has, like, uh, sawdust put into it. So usually the first thing that people do with that, like, wood filament is print one of those groups. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I want to do it because I don't know if if I want to put my machine through that, but uh, it's, it is cool. So. Hmm. Well, um, I mean, I think uh, um, always on the move. Yeah, he is on the move. I don't hear what he said, so I don't know what he's getting. <laughs> yeah, neither do I. <laughs> He's probably getting that Groot that he was just talking about. Sorry, I got a lot of stuff. But there's the Groot. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, just well done. And it's yeah. quite large for... I mean, they even faded the paint on top for the green. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I want to make one. <laughs> Well, it, if you make one and it's good, then I'm, I'm going to want one. So, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> But, well, now that we got Groot in, um, 
You guys got anything else? We've went over a lot. I'm good. Uh, we, oh, wait. With the last thing. One last thing. We did finally get a Funko Shop drop oh, this week. Oh, we did. Um, nice. Wink's not happy about this line, but it's kind of cool. Um, they are doing these uh, pops around the world, and they're doing like little mascots from specific countries. Uh, Monday, we had the Australian koala. Uh, I'm not doing this line either. What you got there? Is that the uh, UK one? Yeah. Uh, I might do the Mexico Chihuahua. I haven't decided yet. Um, cool thing what is that Chihuahua. they come with the, yeah they come with these little coins. I'm I think they're either Pin. coins or pins. Pin. Uh, uh, but yeah. And then they have like a passport book that you, some kind of you would see at Disney. You can drop these in. Yeah. Um, to keep a collection of the pins. Yeah, I mean, the, these are these are something different. Um, my wife wanted this because she's from England. Um, yeah, so she has the whole royal family line. And then uh, she did want this. But uh, I'll, I'll show the back of it because it's got all of them on there. I, I don't know if... Uh... Oh. Uh, yeah, the number five. That's the one. Rosa. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, definitely cool. The uh, yeah, I mean, me personally, if my wife didn't want it, I uh, I definitely wouldn't have gotten it. But it's just one of those one of those ones that she wanted, and she doesn't want a lot. So out of these anymore, she uh, at one point we had all of the diamond collection, every single release for diamond. Um, but then they started getting shared because at, at first they were strictly a hot topic. You know, every month they had up their hot topic, but then they started going to Barnes and Nobles and, you know, all these other stores and Funko exclusives started getting them. So it's like, ah, let's get out of this. So if anyone wants any diamond, I'll flip them to you. <laughs> hmm. What's up with you in these uh, around the world pop swings? I don't know, man. Um, <laughs> as you can see from the back of his, they never uh, decided to do a USA one. Yep, I feel you on that one. Yeah, like if they I, if they would have done I, they, like American Ball Eagle, that would have been awesome. Exactly, something to represent the United States. I mean, that's where Funko's at. That should have been the first one, but they didn't at all. There's nothing they're going to come out with, you know I mean, that's going to include it on that line. They have no intention of doing it. I can't get behind getting any of those for that reason. I don't know. Yeah. Just being stingy, I guess, but I just, I'm not doing it. Yeah, like I said, a bald e- um, an American bald eagle and some kind of like, Amer- like I don't know, <laughs> holding a beer and a... With the... <laughs> Tank top or something would have been cool. <laughs> Ain't yeah. gotta go all that far, you know. <laughs> like straight up bald eagle, like missing the hair, you know, wearing a white yeah. beater and holding a beer. I know, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. With, with a beer belly, you gotta, I gotta have that. Answer. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, all that's right. that's all I got. All right, cool. Well, again, uh, just like last week, well. Hey, Mark, you want to stop sharing your screen so we can get a full sure. three back? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> um, I'm going to drop these guys' uh, Instagrams in the description below. Um, we got our giveaway on Comic Collectors Guild. Um, three massive uh, prizes. Uh, statues, graded comics, signed comics, uh, regular comics, action figures, um, no fungal pops. Uh, let me, I'd have to see. Let me see if I get my got something. Uh, maybe, yeah. maybe we'll maybe we'll save that for a Funko episode giveaway. I like it. Ooh, there you Ooh. go. There That's you a go. hot take right there. <laughs> and if you need uh, some giveaway items, I got a few. Yeah, we 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 we, we, we got we got we got a cool. <laughs> we we probably come up with something good. And if you stayed to the end of this video, <laughs> a 
comment and let us know what you want to see in a giveaway. But uh, yeah, but for the year anniversary of Comic Con Guild, make sure you go check out the main page, follow the instructions. Um, awesome stuff, and anyone can win. It's not just uh, for guild members. Um, like I said, I'm gonna drop these guys' Instagrams in the description. Um, hopefully, we got another episode next week. Uh, hopefully, we got enough content. So <laughs> hopefully, Funko. Give us uh give us some some reveals so we can show. Um but for me, that's gonna wrap it up for the unicorn that keeps popping up on our screen. <laughs> um just remember guys, keep hunting. See ya.